Hey, this is Eddie Gray with Garnish Music Production. Play, record, repeat. These are the things we're going to cover today because they're so important. We're talking about navigation. We're talking about transport. Here we go. To access the solo tool, you want to go to the left click tool menu here or just press T. If you look down where it says solo mode, the key command would be S. Now, mind you, this is a contextual menu. So if I press S here, okay, that's one thing. But if I press S in the tracks window, well, you'll find here on the left hand side that that's going to solo my track. So just don't get that mixed up. The solo tool is something that I never really used in my workflow. It's starting to dawn on me. It's starting to become clear that this could be a useful tool. When working in a song and having several regions like this one, the worst thing to do is to go move your mouse to one place, then go somewhere else, make an edit. Again, go back to the track header. You don't want to do this. So the solo tool allow you to listen to specific parts of the song without having to do this back and forth movement. Here, I'll listen to the guitar. <laughs> Great, let's say I wanted to audition the drums. Okay, now the bass. So Logic will solo that region to the exclusion of everything else and you can just dial in and listen to what it is you're trying to do, whether it's make an edit or copy and paste something. You now have a tool to specifically listen to every region in your track. Let's move on to play from selection. This is another new one that I'm starting to utilize in my workflow. How can I work faster? I don't want to go to the playhead, press play here, come all the way back down over here, make an edit. If you hold shift while pressing the space bar, you can perform play from selection. So look at this region right here. You see how it's highlighted when I click it. If I hold shift, click spacebar, play from the beginning of this selection. Let's go to this bass part. It now highlights shift spacebar. And then now we'll go here, shift spacebar. Another play feature you absolutely have to know is called go to position. Hit forward slash and it takes you wherever you want to go. So if you want to go to bar 17, hit 17, return, you're right there. Forward slash, let's say we want to go to bar 65, 65, and we're there. Highly recommend it. Start to utilize it. It's fantastic. The last two I want to highlight are somewhat related. You go to the key command window option k you'll find it right here it's called stop or play from last location by default it's unassigned i've assigned mine to option command the other one i want you to look at is called play and this is only applicable if you have a numerical keyboard it's the key to the far right that says play and enter what do these do well, let's say I'm making an edit, okay? The playhead starts at bar four, for example, okay? And I'm doing something here in terms of editing or copying something. When I press play, I want to be able to go back to bar four consecutively. Here's the normal behavior. <laughs> And then I have to move my mouse all the way to bar four. This is inefficient. If you utilize that key command, option, space bar, it will repeat the same section over and over. So starting from bar four. Option, space bar. Same thing with the enter key on the numerical keyboard. All right, and the last areas I wish to cover 
are right here in the key command window, option K. We've got record, we've got record, record, repeat, and then we've got one more called record, repeat. I'll tell you the difference in a second. When we hit record, we know the behavior. Logic will give you a count in, and then the song will come in, and you'll start recording your audio track. When you record repeat, the first option here, which I've designated to option R, what happens? Logic will start the process all over again and re-record itself. It's not recording additional takes. You're just restarting the recording process. Check it out. Here's record, and then record, record, repeat. And how do I know it's not recording additional takes? Well, if I highlight the region and delete it, I see this screen here. And this is how I know it's just one file. What's the difference between this record, record, repeat, and this one? Well, the second one records a take folder. So I'm going to hit record. I'm going to stop and then hit record, repeat. In my case, that's option, command, R. Check it out. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. These are small differences, but in the grand scheme of things, they'll start to add up really quickly. And just for the heck of it, I'll throw in discard recording and return to last play position for all you musicians, guitarists, singers that do your own thing in your home studio. You're going to need this one here, and that's command period. So if I am recording... and I want the playhead to stop and go to the original position, I hit command period while I'm recording. Check it out. We've deleted the track, the playhead has moved back to the original position, and we're ready to record again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Super grateful for your time. Let's keep going, let's keep learning. And I'll see you on the next one.